One of the highlights of the project had been the pouring of the concrete floor at the rear of the house. A few days later, the cement had dried and it was safe to walk on it. So AJ and Ping Yi started to put these wall frames together. The new slab makes the rest of the garden look a bit tatty. There were once five compost bins standing proudly along the fence line, but Axel destroyed three of them when he sideswiped them while manoeuvring the mighty bobcat around the backyard. Perhaps he once drove Panzer tanks from German military in a past life. His reckless driving also means that the fence separating our yard with our neighbour Jonathan will have to be rebuilt. But Axel's blissfully ignorant of all the chaos he's created. He's now turned his attention to supervising Ping Ye and AJ, who are trying to lift one of the finished wall frames into position. It's a titanic task. After a rollicking start to the renovations on the 8th of February 2022, things suddenly ground to a halt on the 8th of February 2023. The reason for this state of affairs was that there was a mass walk off the construction site when the tradies, who were Asians and Indians hired by Axel, discovered they were being exploited and underpaid. So they walked off the job. And Axel has been keeping a particularly low profile unlike the heady days when he was seen dancing triumphantly with AJ and Ping Ye, celebrating the pouring of the tons of concrete at the back of the house. He's now lurking in his hideout somewhere down in Logan Village, as one does when howling hordes of tradies are screaming for their unpaid wages, the way the peasants of Paris paid for the blood of the French aristocracy during the heady days of the French Revolution when the elusive Scarlet Pimpernel risked his life saving tumbrils full of French aristocrats from the guillotine. Some have speculated that there's a resemblance between Axel and the Pimpernel. They do look slightly similar, don't they? And they're both very elusive. But the Pimpernel was a hero, whereas Axel is an arch-villain. And there he goes, strutting off down the driveway, leaving a trail of destruction, desolation and despair behind him. It's going to be a huge job cleaning up this mess. It's no wonder he has so many people chasing after him. They seek him here, they seek him there. The tradies seek him everywhere. Is he in Manila or is he in Logan? You damned elusive bogan. Now it was right here that uh, Axel performed one of the worst acts of, you know, absolute total disregard for his workers and violation of workers rights etc. He hired this um, unfortunate youth from Thailand and lured him out here with the claims that he was going to give him a big job and hit the big time in the building industry and he put him to work to build a great big hole. He'd have to dig a hole right there using this, this shovel and uh, a crowbar and he toiled all day with the crowbar and the shovel at the end of the day, his hands were just covered in blisters and he was absolutely stuffed and he staggered off home. And then to add insult to injury, Axel didn't pay him and uh, he um, filled the hole in the next day, which is pretty weird. It's difficult in this short movie to detail all the examples of Axel's attitude to his workers and his general attitude to the whole project. So it was left to Chewy One and her friend Bowie to roam around the building site, documenting all the blunders and compiling them into this huge file of forms and photos to present to the mighty Queensland Building and Construction Commission. They investigate disputes between builders and their customers and even have the power to appoint a new builder to sort out all the problems. The whole process takes a week or two, so in the meantime, Chui One decided to make merit and accumulate a good load of karma by doing kind deeds for the homeless and poverty stricken. Vegetarian fried rice, the fried noodles, beef pie. She saved over a hot wok all morning, preparing a big load of fried rice and other oriental delicacies for a mass feeding event which takes place every Wednesday afternoon 
in a small park at the heart of West End. Now, all we can do is wait and see what happens next. <laughs>